solution Hello there, welcome to the next match of the Football Manager Central Online League. Now today we play Jeremy, I don't know his last name, well I do but I'm not going to butcher it. And he is currently Manchester City Manager, so we do have a big, big task on our hands. This is the formation we're going with. We're now playing a libero for extra defensive support at the back because as you know from three league matches we've only got one point so far and we're currently finding it very, very tough. So we're going with Romero on goals, the libero for extra support, Tobio at defence. We have Roland Derry Komar for his debut, Peruzzi at right wing back, Monzon at left wing back, in the middle as the box to box, Dembele on the right, Tevez on the left, Lavezzi and up top, the big fella, Olivier Giroud. So hopefully we can get some sort of result today, get a point they would be happily with, but I have a fear that we could be destroyed today. But hopefully I'm wishing my team all the best on the bench, Orion, Gago, Rabiot, Lodiero, Nassing, Munia and Ayose Perez. No messing around today guys, we're playing a counter system, we're getting right into today's match. It's Boca Juniors versus Manchester City. So as usual the match is played at Wembley at a neutral arena, but... It appears that Manchester City are technically the home team. And I thought we were playing an unorthodox formation, but Jeremy also is. He is going with Joe Hart and goals. He's playing a two central defence in Ottomendi and company. Right wing back and left wing back, like myself, is Zabaleta and Clichy in the middle. Silva, Turi and his new signing, Cruz. Forward front three, which strangely he's playing... Aguero in the hole when I usually play Sterling there. He's playing Sterling directly up top and Boney up front with them. So it's time to start the match, guys. Wish me luck because we'll need it. Believe me. So we're just going to quickly change the camera to 2D Classic to see the game better. So here we are. We'll speed it up a little bit. And the highlights also. Match starts on the left-hand side. And the Manchester City stats on the right-hand side, just so we can see who's playing the best out of those three. Seven minutes in, one shot each. Aguero, Clichy, Sterling, Zabaleta. Wow. Wow. Okay guys, 8 minutes in and Manchester City with their first attack of the game are one nil up against Boca through Bonnie Willifred and he basically just walked the ball into the goal. You could have been on a Zimmer frame, stood there on the line and just tapped it home. Zabaleta has just picked up a booking for Manchester City. Now I don't mind losing because without a doubt I am the weakest team in this entire league structure of both red and green division. Now I won't complain losing games but when losing with goals... Like that, that was abysmal. Four shots to two for Manchester City over Boca. 52% possession to 48. Nothing happening so far for my Boca side. And not a great deal happening for Manchester City either, other than the goal. Romero. Cruz. The only signing Jeremy has made for his Manchester City side. Sterling takes a long shot and it goes wide. Interesting choice to play him as the out and out striker other than Aguero when I would think Sterling would play better in the hole but hey, I'm the Boca manager, not Manchester City so who am I to talk? Zabaleta. Lavetti picks it up. Giroud. Isolated on his own. We try to play more defensive, almost settling for a draw if you like but it was always going to be difficult in this game. Boney with the long shot and it hits the bar. Boney Wilfried hits the bar from around 22 yards out. 28 minutes gone. So I'm going to... We're playing at a higher tempo, but... I'm going to tell him to push up a little bit further. Roam from positions. Be more expressive. We've not really been involved in this game so far after 27 minutes. 11 shots already... For Manchester City. And our best player so far is a 6.8. Which is very poor from Moussa Dembele. 31 minutes gone here. At Wembley. It's all Manchester City so far. 14 shots. We are getting hammered here. Boney. And a Boney again. And Zabaleta. 
from an acute angle after Boney should have made it too. He really should have had a hat trick so far or could have. Zabaleta has put Manchester City 2 0 ahead, and believe it or not, guys, the game is basically done. This is disappointing, but. It's very frustrating at the same time. And we are in our fourth match. We're already knocked out the cup to Ben and his Juventus side. We drew 1-1 with Louis and his Napoli side. We lost 3-0 to Cameron and his Arsenal side. And uh, this is the, currently the fourth game. And I cannot actually remember who we played in the last game. But hey-ho, all mods and upwards. Let's see if we can do something at half the time to get back into this game. I highly doubt it. I'm feeling deflated and defeated already to a much vastly superior team. So I'll make a couple of changes, see what we do, and we'll go right into the second half, guys. Okay, guys, one change for me. We have taken out the libero in Tobio and brought on Munier in the Romdotta role and pushed Carlos Tevez forward into the false nine role. Second half about to start very shortly. We're just waiting on Jeremy to make his changes to his team in which is Manchester City side are currently dominating 17 shots to 4. And it looks like the second half is about to begin any time now. And there we go, the whistle goes for the second half here live at Wembley. And it's Manchester City 2, Boca Juniors 0. And I'm not sure when the next January, sorry, the next transfer window is. But boy do we need it. So, hopefully that extra attacker in the game for me, can make a difference. And if we can get a goal within the next 20 minutes, who knows, we can maybe next something. But Manchester City should really be at least 3, maybe 4 nil ahead already. So I'm going to make a couple of... I'm going to go attacking. Nothing to lose. Go route 1. Whip cross. Sorry, whip cross. Hit crosses early, double less, route one, and it's risky to push a little bit higher, we've got nothing to lose. Monzon, can we actually have an attack to talk about here? Giroud is in, Olivier Giroud, Olivier Giroud, and he should have scored, he was maybe a little bit too close to the goalkeeper to do anything about it. Fifty-six minutes gone here. Twenty-one shots to six. Should we make one more sub? I think we will. Tevez will come off. Ayose Perez will come on, and Narsing will come on for Levetti. Last roll of the dice here for me and my Boca Juniors side. I tell you what, for my first year in the online league, I've done unlucky. To get Boca Juniors. For me the worst team in the division. And they're not bad. But we're against powerhouse heavyweights in Europe. Like Man City. Arsenal. Bayern Munich. Barcelona. Paris Saint-Germain. Whereas the lesser teams in the entire thing. Would be Boca. Monaco. Benfica. Valencia. I think they would be ranked as sort of the bottom four. Napoli bottom five there. Those five teams will probably be battling it out near the bottom end of the table. I might be proved wrong, but who knows. And look at that. Raheem Sterling walks it into the goals. And there you go. 3-0 to Manchester City. And it is well and truly game, set, match, done and dusted. Tell you what, it's great fun to be involved in this, guys. But it is super frustrating when there's not a lot you can do. It's not like a typical online save where you're you're building and you're playing in, in a league. You're kind of loading the team once a week, if you like, and that is it. Giroud with a good chance to make three one, and he doesn't. So yeah, you're kind of loading this once a week, and you're trying to tactically outdo your opponent. You're not actually playing in a league structure where you can work on things. Yes, you can play friendlies against people in the league, but. That is the only way you can sort of get a tactic. But it's basically like all these players are new to each other and don't know each other every time you load it. I'm not complaining, like, I've got a much better team than what... Goal! Yes! His first goal in the online league. It's my boy, it's my favourite player. 
and probably Planet Football, guys, because I'm a Newcastle United fan and I absolutely adore Ayose Perez. 73 minutes gone here. We've gotten slightly better in terms of shots in the second half, but really we haven't been the best. But it's another one of those sorrow stories where I've gotten a goal, I've done okay. I think there's only one match where we've really been outclassed. Perez, 78 minutes gone here. Nassing. Rollin will pick it up. Rollin still. Plays it into Giroud. Perez, I use it, Perez! Munier! And Munier is offside. I got a little bit overexcited there, guys. If that went in, I would have just pumped it on attack. On overload, sorry. Damn it. So that assist for the Ayose Perez goal comes from Olivier Giroud, who continues to impress. To be honest, in the entire four games, three games, three or four games, I think it's three. I think this is the third league one, and we've played one cup game. In those four games in total... Giroud has been the main man. He's really been rock solid and I've been pretty delighted with him. He is on loan from Arsenal now. Whether I can look to make that permanent from Cameron Chapman or not, I'm not sure. He did want £20 million at one point and in the end he didn't have space for him in his squad so he let me loan him for free when if he'd went down to say £12-£13 million, I would have bought him on a permanent deal. Hopefully we can work something out and we can get it. Great cross there but it fizzles to nothing. And the match is about to end. And there it goes, guys. My third match in the Football Manager Central Online League. Remember, guys, that's a website for all your Football Manager downloadables. From updates from the WizKid to graphics to guides. Everything you need. But the final score here at Wembley is Manchester City 3, Boca Juniors 1 and another defeat. So that leaves us with one point out of nine on the table and probably rock bottom of the league. Tony Cruz getting man of the match. Thank you very much for checking this out, guys, and I will see you lot very soon for another video and the next match in the Football Manager Central Online League.